Okay, today we're gonna to talk about how to sell your home quickly in Cohasset. My name is Bill Tierney and I'm with Michelle Lennard Real Estate here in Cohasset. Um, and up on the blog today we have a new post, uh, how to sell your home quickly. Um, and let's just go through a couple of the basic steps on that one. Set the right price. If you set it too low, people are gonna you know, think something's fishy. Set it too high, they're gonna roll their eyeballs and you're not gonna have any traffic. Uh, and you're gonna clean your house for open houses and no one's gonna show up. Because if you're priced over the moon, you're just over the moon. Um, so that, you know, price is the next one. Um, enhance your curb appeal. This is a big one, right? People pull, you know, buyer pulls up in front of your house. You wanna have fresh mulch out. Paint the front door if you can. Um, you know, mow the grass. You know, make it look like a place that they would be proud to call their own, because that's what you want them to do. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, once they get inside, remember, declutter the house. No one wants to see your wedding pictures. No one wants to see your kids' fifth grade artwork. Um, no offense, but you know, they want to imagine themselves here and not you. So take your personal stuff out of the house. Uh, if you can stage it, um, sometimes the more modern kind of trendy stuff will help sell your house. Um, you, you know, and then you get into painting and a whole bunch of things, but just the, the basic, you know, declutter and staging will carry you a long way. Um, and then when you're done with that, Get professional photography. There's nothing worse uh, than some of the stuff uh, I've seen people post and, and call them listing photos, because the, the the photos carry to the internet, they carry to social media, they carry to the glossy marketing pieces, uh, they carry in the postcards. You gotta have good photography, and it's something I'm a little over the top cuckoo about, uh, but it makes a difference. Um, and then you know. So, you know, we've decluttered the house, we've made the curb appeal look great, we've got people in the house because we've got good photography and it's showing well. Um, but here's the thing, you gotta be a little bit flexible. Um, you know, when somebody wants to see your house at 8.30 in the morning or 8 o'clock at night and it's really inconvenient and there will be some showings that are inconvenient, that's the way real estate goes. Let's just be candid about that. Um, you got to be flexible and you got to accommodate because if they don't come see your house, they ain't going to buy it. Uh, it's as simple as that. And, you know, the buyers are writing the checks, so they get to determine the rules um, and you need to be flexible. Um, and then the last thing, and this is one that um, people overlook a little bit. Leverage your real estate agent's experience. Um, you know, we've all been down the selling path a lot. Uh, you know, once you've been in real estate and you've sold a few houses, you've learned a few things that are kind of hard to articulate, but, you know, become a part of your program. Um, although we have it articulated in my office. And matter of fact, there's 182 steps from when you accept an offer to when you close that I need to go through. Um, and I can articulate those, but you don't want to hear them here on this video, otherwise you'll be sound asleep in 20 minutes. Um, but, you know, do leverage your real estate agent's experience. So those are my tips on how to sell your home quickly. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler. I also appreciate you watching my video. Give me a like, follow, or subscribe. And make it a good week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.